identify our character. Jesus is interested with us. But that is not true. Maana mafarisayo walikuwa merekebisha tabia yao vizuri sana. Na Yesu akawambia wao ni hypocrites. Because they did the character modification and they neglected the matters of the heart. Kwa hivyo siku ya leo, tuliona ya kwamba it is a work that is done after you giving yourself to Jesus Christ. Usalende your heart, your mind. Diyo bibirina sema katika wa filipi moja msali wa pili wa sita ya kwamba kasi ile kristo aliyazisha nani yako atakuja kuikamilisha. Kwa hivyo siku ya leo, tukaona hii vasi ambayo nataka tuwanzi na ya kwamba kristo anafanya kasi dani na wewe kuna vile sasa unafaa ujitoe. Mana msaanda uwe sipiano kwa mtu ambaye asemi ya nataka kusaindiwa. Mtu wakianguka kwa shimo. Akose kuinua mikono na kusema sasa ni saindieni siwesi. Nobody can take that person out of that pit. Kwa hivyo ni wewe sasa uonyeshe ya kwamba you need, you desire. Mana tuna watu siku ya lao they are very comfortable with the sin. Wampaka wamesema ni udhaifu wangu ni muimba. People call weekendness in Mwimba. It's a thorn in the flesh. That is not a thorn in the flesh. Anything to do with the sin. That is wickedness. You should discern between weakness and wickedness. Weakness in physical matters. Kama mutu, kama Musa vili alikuwa na kigugumisi. Pauru alikuwa na shinda ya macho. Wakasema wakaratia wange tamani macho yake ingolewe wapewe. He had a problem with the highs. Tango uskiri alikuwa na contact na yesu. Na watu wengi wana physical weaknesses. Mtu wanaweza kuwa hata amengoka meno, hata kuongea kizungu wa juhi, but mungu wana mtumia, that is a weakness. But when it comes to matters of sin, it is not weakness again, that is wickedness. People are very comfortable with wickedness. Na wanaanza kukuotu bibiria ya kujifariji ya kwamba, hata daundi alikuwa na wanafanya usharati. Sasa, when David did this sin, walikuwa sana na mungu, na mungu wakaleta great punishment. Yapo ndiyo zaza hatu wangali yangi. Tunata kuleta hiyo kitu yonekana kama nizuli. Hati ya kaitu wa man after my own heart. Na wana alifanya usherati. Sasa soma baanda ya kufanya usherati uone. Alifukuswa mpaka katika ufarume. Haka kama msuni ya kafukuswa na kijanake. Na many things changed from that time. Fellowship yake na mungu ikaalibika. Mpaka kukawa na mambu mengi. Ambayo sina munda wakutaja. Kwa hivyo saa hii. Tukishindo kujua hivyo. Tunataka mambu mengi. Nata tuwasome hapa katika wa Filipi. Mbiri msali wa kumina mbiri. Inasema, therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence. Continue to work out your salvation with the fear and the trembling. Continue to work out your salvation with the fear and the trembling. For it is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. Kwa hivyo hii bibiri na tuwanyesha na mnagani. Wewe ufanya kasi out. You try to do something in outside. Ujalipu kufanya bidi. Mana uwezi okolewa kama ni ulevi ama ni mambo ya mazengenyo. You cannot be going there kusengenyana arafu na tubu. Banda kesho you are there. It can't work that way. Unakua na asira, you fight and do some things, unakua vya kanisani, you repent and continue living a holy life, kesho badaye tena you want to fight again. God does not need those fake Christians. Mungu anataka watu wale, atafanyia kasi, wakamirike ndi wawatumishi. Mana wakati uwa revival, tunataka, mungu anataka vyombo, ambavi atafanyia kasi, people who will carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit and do mighty things. Na hatu tafanya hivyo kama tutaishi maisha hayo, ya deception, ya kwamba tunafanyanga dhambi tukitubu. That's a lie and a wrong doctrine. Iyo ni mafundisho uongo na Biblia hai kufusema hivyo. Biblia inasema you should work out your salvation and it is Christ who is working in you to will and to do for his own pressure. You should work out. Jambo la kwanza, ndiyo wese kujua kwamba dhambi, ndiyo wese kutamani kukombolewa mana without that desire. Sasa watu wako comfortable na kutafuta basi sisa kwamba Hakuna mtu wafanyangi dhambi. Kwa hivyo tunaishi kufanya tukitubu. Hapana. Kuna watu mungu wa mesafisha kabisa na wakasimama. Na wakawa vessels of honor. Na watunatumika kwa mungu. Iyo ni mawazo ya uongo. Kwa hivyo. Njambo la kwanza. Ile kitu inaweza kukusaindia ni kujua kwamba. 
We, when you sin, you don't affect God in any way. Hakuna kitu unasaidia Mungu kwa kutofanya dhambi kwako. Hata kufanya dhambi pia akudhuru Mungu kwa chochote. Kwa hivyo katika Ayub that 5 mstari wa sita, inatuambia vizuri ya kwamba if you sin how does that affect him if you are sincere many what does that do to him if you are righteous if you are righteous what do you give to him or what does he receive from your hand your wickedness affects only a man like yourself and your righteousness only the sons of men kuokoka na kukaa vizuri ni faida yako kufanya dhambi akudhuru Mungu Mungu aliumba mbingu na dunia na maraika na anaabudiwa usiku na mchana if you will not want to change that desire to change that life itakuaffect wewe ni wewe utaishi hayo maisha na reta vile nasema kile mtu apandacho atabuna kwa hivyo ukipanda kwa mwili vile nasema you live utap, utavuna uharibifu ukipanda kwa roho utavuna uzima milele kwa hivyo kupanda kwa mwili it is when we follow our heart uh, our fresh desires alafu tunabuni biblia ya ku, kuonyesha hiyo fresh desires is just like a normal thing when it is not a normal thing kwa hivyo the first step it is to know that your life of righteousness will help you itakusaidia wewe utakuwa na uzima milele utaishi vizuri hapa utaitwa mtumishi utakaa na heshima lakini ukikataa uanze kufanya mambo mengine hata hiyo maisha bibili nasema it will affect your wickedness affects only a man like yourself and your righteousness only the sons of men it does not benefit god to do anything kwa hivyo ukijua hivyo you will have that desire kutolewa katika mambo kwa hivyo mpaka uchukue hatua hatua ya kwanza ni kulia you should cry for sins dhambi si nzuri sana dhambi itakupeleka jahanam Sin you will bring shame. One day utafanya mambo sirini. Siku moja utatokewa hadharani na ujulikane. Utaishi katika mambo yako, utaficha ficha mambo hapo uficha asira. Siku moja utakanyangwa hapa kanisani uanze kukunja ngumi. You start fighting ama kuongea vibaya na siku hiyo ndio watu watajua kumbe vile wanafikirianga wewe uko hivyo au uko hivyo because you did not seek help. Ukujua maswara ya moyo ni Kristo anafaa shughulike. Kwa hivyo Biblia inasitoambia namna gani? We work out and Christ is working in. How do we work out? Hapo ndio nataka tuangalie. Tumeona hatua ya kwanza ni kwamba uangalie, ujue kwamba maisha mazuri, maisha matakatifu yana faida kwako. Hayana faida kwa Mungu. Na ukiishi uki maisha mazuri ama maisha machafu pia ina affect wewe katika Jeremiah 17 mstari wa 14 nasema heal me o lord and i shall be healed save me and i shall be saved for you are the one who my praise niokoe bwana na uniponye heal me o lord and i shall be healed save me and i shall be saved for you are the one i praise hiyo ni Jeremiah 17 mstari wa 14 huyu ni mtu analia anasema bwana mimi ni mgonjwa niponye na uniokoe Mungu wangu maana wewe ndiye sifa zangu hiyo ndio hatua ya kwanza the first step it is to know that sin will affect you it will break your relationship with Jesus it will break your sin, your, your relationship with brothers itakuletea haibu mwisho itakupeleka jehanam kwa hivyo ni wanse kulia kumwambia Bwana niokoe na mimi nitaokoka niponye na mimi nitaponya don't be comfortable kama vile mtu hawezi kakaa kwa mtaro ukianguka kwa mtaro na we hiyo inateresa ujaribu kutoka you can't say there mpaka uitane help 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 nisaidieni mpaka sasa watu waje wakushike wakutoe na wewe kama uko na hali ambayo kabisa kabisa ukifanya personal examination of your heart maisha yako ni wewe unajijua kile kilicho ndani yako kuna mahali watu wanasemanga mimi hapo sitakangi kukanyangwa hapo ndio utakanyangwa siku moja ndio upate uponyaji Mungu hakuna mahali hawezi kukukanyanga. Kwa hivyo siku ya leo ni wewe utaonyesha kulia na kutamani na kutaka sana na kuchukua hatua ya kutafuta Mungu na kuomba Roho Mtakatifu ndio uwese kutolewa katika hiyo hali. Kwa hivyo usije ukatetea hali mbaya 
ikiwa ndani yako never be comfortable with this in anze kusema ni mwiba ama hiyo ni udhaifu yangu that is not weakness that is weakness eh, whatever does with this in it is not weakness it is weakness so today john 14 inasema tulipewa msaindisi hatua ya pili ni uombe huyo msaindisi ambaye tulipewa ambaye ni roho mtakatifu atukupewa katika John 14 mstari wa 14 15 John chapter 14 verse 15 nasema if you love me and you, you will obey my what i command if you love me you will obey my commands and i will ask the father and he will give you he will give you another helper to be with you forever the spirit of truth the world cannot accept him because it is neither sees him nor knows him kwa hivyo hatua ya pili ukitamani kuokolewa uombe biblia inasema tulipewa msaindisi huyu msaindisi siwa kutusaidia kuendesha tukutuku ama kupika ama kufanya biashara Business were done without Jesus. Biashara ilikuwa inafanywa, watu walikuwa wanaendelea na maisha yao kabla Yesu aje. Huyu msaindisi tulipewa ndiye atusaidie kushinda ulimwengu na kumushinda shetani na kushinda mwili. Hiyo ndiyo kazi ya msaindisi huyu ambaye anaitwa Roho Mtakatifu. So, hatua ya pili ya working out your salvation so that you will help Jesus Christ work in and you are working out. It is to desire for you to be given the Holy Spirit mbaye ni msaindisi akusaidie kuweza na shetani mitego ya shetani ni mingi the devil will tell you hata ukisikia sauti inakwambia enda ufanye dhambi utatubu hakuna mtu afanyangi dhambi that is the devil it is not the bible hiyo ni shetani anataka uishi maisha ya deception kwa hivyo katika ruka 11 mstari wa 4 Yesu akasema when you pray say that father Do not lead us into temptation. Usituongoze katika majaribu. Lead us not into temptation. Kwa hivyo hatua ya pili ni maombi. Ask Jesus Christ daily to help you not to go into temptation. Mwambie Kristo hii ombi tuliomba hapa katika Luka nitasoma Luka 11. Utamwambia Yesu katika ruka 11 mstari wa 4 inasema forgive our sins for we also forgive everyone who sins against us and lead us not into temptation it is your business is your duty to ask Jesus every morning to deliver you from all temptation to give you power to say no to every approach of sin approach of deception chochote kile kitakuja kwako kutaka kukutoa katika wema wa Bwana ni wewe utaomba kila asubuhi. Luka 11 mstari wa 4 usome hapo uombe na hiyo vazi ya kwamba Lord deliver me from temptation. Usiniongoze Bwana, unisaidie majaribu na maovu yakinipata yasije yakaniweka chini. Na ukiomba hivyo, God is willing to give you the Holy Spirit ambaye ni msaidizi. Ilo help you to say no na kukataa njia mbaya na kuishi vile Kristo anataka na utakuwa msaada kwa kanisa na utakuwa msaada pia kwa maisha yako wewe mwenyewe katika matendo ya mitume the, 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 the gift of the holy spirit ni bure naona siku hizi watu wanafanya mambo mengi wakisema uwe unua anointing wewe fanywa chochote upate patiane kiwango fulani and you upachikwa anointing hapana hakuna mambo kama hayo Uh, the gift of God they are uh, above price. The power of your own mtakatifu avyo sinunuliwa na pesa sikonjuu ya gharama na pesa sasa hii dunia yote there is no price to pay for you to be given the gift of God. Kwa hivyo Holy Spirit is a gift. A gift is, is something that is given without a pay. Ni kitu ambacho hakilipiwi. Kwa hivyo usindanganyike ya kwamba you should do this or that. You just repent and believe and they come to Jesus with a heart of confession and by umwambie bwana mimi siwezi give me the holy spirit that is when you will be given the holy spirit katika acts 2 acts chapter 2 mustali wa that hate peter aliongea maneno haya peter replied repent and be baptized every one of you 
Daanza mstari wa 37. Matendo ya mitume mbili, chapter 2, verse 37. Na sema when the people heard this, they were cut to their heart and sent to Peter and the other apostles, brothers, what shall we do? Kwa hivyo wakati wowote utaona hali ambayo inakusumbua umeokoka things are not going the way they you wanted them to be wakati tuliokoka tulidhania ukiingia kanisani tu everything will run away the devil will run away no hata siku ile uliokoka kwanza ndio shetani alianza kukuinda alikuwa akuindi ukiwa nje when you came to the church ndio vita vilianza na vya mwili na hiyo hiyo ndio unaona anga hata siku ile umeamua kufunga ndio unanunua chakula na watu wengi because the devil is fighting you sasa ile unataka kukura na unataka cha ukweli hakuna mtu anakunulia but when you fast utaona mafadhili wengi sana wanataka kukutoa katika hiyo neema ya kufunga because the devil is there kwa hivyo hiyo akaulisa what shall we do kwa hivyo ni wewe sasa ufike to that point ya kwamba kujua how you are living kama kuna vitu vinakusumbua ndani ya moyo wako pride or anything that is not praiseworthy mambo ambayo hayana sifa nzuri hayana hayana yakionekana si hayana utukufu katika nyumba ya Bwana e uko na wivu mtu akibarikiwa hata akiimba vizuri you are just umenyongwa mtu akiimba vizuri sauti yake atoe isikize vizuri umeshanyongwa kwa koo maana wivu imecha kuingia na unaanza kupata shinda kubwa hivyo unanyongwa ndio utanyongwa kabisa mpaka ukufe maana roho mtakatifu ndiye anapeana vipawa kwa hivyo unaleta wivu katika nyumba ya Bwana mali ya istahili kukaa. Mambo mengi yanakaanga ndani ya moyo we don't know them until manifestation ikuje. The spirit that will is in you will manifest. Wakati itakuwa provoked, watu wa kikanyango ndio wanakasirika, watu wakifanya mambo mtu akinywa gari ndio watu wana wivu inaonekana. Kiburi, was rebellion everything will come. It will manifest itself because it is in your heart. Kwa hivyo ni wewe ulise tutafanya nini what shall we do Peter akawajibu akawaambia Peter replied hiyo ni 38 msali wa 38 Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit the promise is for you and for your children and for all who are far for all whom the Lord will call Aha ndio ni yetu na watoto wetu na watu wote wale Bwana ataita ndio Peter alisema na akasema it is a gift. Kwa hivyo ukitaka kushinda mwili haraka na kushinda shetani na kushinda dunia omba upewe this gift. Na nimekwambia hayuzi watu wamesoea sasa sabia, tabia ya kila siku ni kuusa everything. Kuja hapa ujiconnect ufanye toa 1500 upewe hiyo hapana. Roho mtakatifu hauswi akwamba price hakuna kitu unaweza toa cha kununua roho mtakatifu it is a gift given freely to every believer who will desire apewe hiyo roho mtakatifu aweze kumsaidia that is how you shall work out your salvation with fear and trembling and then Christ is working in you to will and to do for his own pressure mushikamane na Kristo kufanya kazi be willing for Jesus to work inside you na wewe uchukue hatua maana wewe unisikia watu wengine wanasema mimi sikunywa kikombe lakini naendanga kwambana nunua soda na kunywa huko why should you go and buy soda in number si ukunywe mahali soda ya si mpaka soda inaikai kwamba hapo unakunywa soda kwamba the devil is very cunning utaona ikikunyuliwa hivyo siku nyingine utakufunguliwa na wewe ukunywe hapo ndio utajua ujui maana shetani alali The devil is after you anakuinda biblia inasema tungangane usiku na mchana tukijua mshtaki wetu shetani anatuinda usiku na mchana kama simba he is after you he is windling you atakuinda kabisa mpaka akupate kwa hivyo usimpatie chance ya kwenda kukaa karibu hapo ati tulikuwa na mkutano hapo kwamba hata kama ukunywi hakuna shinda kuna shinda for the sake of your conscience there is a problem there You cannot just sit there watch prostitute there unaona watu walevi wanakunywa hapo na wewe ni mwokovu dhambi itaanza kukusumbua ndani ya moyo there is a desire that will be created in your heart na hiyo desire ndio itakuongoza mpaka uanguke ujikute at mambo hayo umeshaanza kuyafanya ambayo ulikuwa unataki bidi nasema katika proverbs 
nikielekea kumalisa inasema hivi Proverbs 4:23 inasema above all else guard your heart for it is the well spring of life put away perversity from your mouth keep corrupt talk far from your lips let your eyes look straight ahead fix your gaze directly before you make level paths for your feet and they take on the ways that are firm do not swerve to the right or to the left keep your foot from all evil ondoa mugu wako katika maovu yote inasema saindi ya yote linda sana take care of your heart linda sana moyo wako kuliko vyote ulindavyo uangalie moyo fanya personal examination of your heart every morning angalia moyo wako uone kama Kristo ako wenye unawaza the desires zile sime accumulate in your heart it is good every morning to sacrifice them and to crucify them mali Kristo alisema yote yamekwisha msarabani upigilie uongelee hizo desires sote na mambo yote asubuhi kabla hujatoka examine your heart a wise person ni mtu ambaye akiamuka fanya kuna vitu hatujafundishwa katika Biblia meditation is very important tunaambia ngo uombe tu but you cannot speak to god anaye akataye kukuongelesha uombe uombe uende no have time to read the bible pray and stay calm kama dakika 15 just don't pray and don't leave the word the word of god just listen to your heart you will hear christ is speaking in your heart utamsikia roho akiongea deep in your heart after you have learned the bible after you have prayed alafu unafanya meditation meditation is that calmness you just keep quiet utamsikia roho mtakatifu anaongea na moyo wako kwa hivyo hivyo ndivyo tutashinda hii dunia haraka by working our salvation with fear and trembling and allowing Christ to take away the root of sin that is in our hearts tukiungamana hivyo be willing to be taken away from that tutakaa vizuri tutakamilika tutakuwa watumishi wa Mungu wazuri people who are not need to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of god preaching the gospel and the sinners will see the light of the wow of the gospel and they come learning to Christ ile inafanya wanadhambi wasiokoke siku hizi wanaona tume compromise tunaongea kama wao tunakaa kama wao sasa kuokoka inaonekana kama si kitu ya maana sana maana wanaashindwa sasa kama siasa mnapiga nyote you are there mkiongea jokes singine siko off guard mnaongea na wenye dhambi na wanaenda wakicheka wanaona ah nyinyi sasa hata hakuna it is time to separate ourselves and stand with Jesus Christ and tell him to sanctify us and to make us holy so that we may be the light of the world kwa kufanya hivyo kwa hivyo mtu mwelevu ni mtu ule anafanya personal examination of his heart every morning chunguza moyo wako by doing meditation when you read the word of god and when you pray just sit somewhere 20 minutes 15 minutes just listen to the voice of the holy spirit he will be speaking to your heart kile atakwambia ufanye usi ufanye kile atakwambia usifanye usifanye ukisoma namba 21 mstari wa 4 inasema watu waliumwa na nyoka Mungu akamwambia aka Musa wakiumwa wamwangalie nyoka wa shaba watapona that bronze snake is Jesus Christ be hiyo nyoka wa shaba ndiyo Yesu alisema katika madhayo tatu ya kwamba huyo nyoka alinuliwa ni mimi hivyo ndivyo nitainuliwa siku za mwisho ndio mwenye atanitasama atapata usima fix your eyes unto Jesus always hiyo ndio point yangu ya mwisho ya yeah, inatoka katika waibrania 12 Sa, sasa nakufundisha kufanya working you work out your salvation with fear and trembling maana wewe usaidiwa kama utaki you are comfortable in sin umeingia katika deception ya sikuisi ya kwamba tunafanyanga tukithubu now you are there and very comfortable and the devil is loving maana anajua uendi mahali kwa hivyo waibrania 12 nasema nini point number 4 ni kwamba we shall look upon Jesus Christ fixing our minds ni, kuma, ni kumanisha tukae tukitafakari kuhusu Yesu Christ we think about Jesus Christ waibrania 12 mstari wa 
kwanza therefore since we are surrounded by such a great crowd of witness let us draw off everything that he does love and the peace along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart and don't have anything to do with the foolish and the stupid argument because you know they produce quarrels achana na mambo ya dunia kubishana kuanza kukana wenye dhambi leave these things free evil desires of your youth pursue righteousness faith and love and the peace along with those who call on the Lord of the Lord Jesus Christ out of pure conscience torokia vitu vingine kama Joseph aliambua this is an opportunity to engage in moralities hata tuko nyoko nyumba sisi wawili mimi na wewe Joseph akabindi atoroke aseme hapana i cannot sin against my god that is the time tunafaa tuwe hivyo ya kwamba unaweza fika mahali when you think about Jesus Christ na hii dhambi ambayo bibi inasema ni ya munda is of talesa dhambi ni samunda Usharati ni dakika 20 tu baadaye uanze kusikia umehukumika ukiimba vitu vya watu sisiring kutukanana binaishanga haraka baadaye unaanza kuwa na condemnation you can free from these things bad company ruins good morals it is time to stay away from people ambao wanakuengage kwa kuengage kwa mambo ya dunia ambao unaweza ona wanaweza kukuangusha maana ya msali wa kwanza inasema habari kiwa mtu yule ambaye hatembei na aketi these are the things we do every day if we are not walking we are sitting if you are not sitting we are standing kwa hivyo bibili na to encourage whenever you find yourself sitting angalia kama kuna muokovu wako hapo maana mahali kuna muokovu utafanya kitu akwambia hapana wa Kristo afanyange hivyo but it's in us to rejoice and love you are saying blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wickedness atembeangi or stand in the way of sinners na asimamangi or sit in the seat of mockers aketi these are the things we do daily we, when we are not walking we are standing when you are not standing we are sitting so bibilina to encourage namna gani whenever you are walking angalia mnatembea na nani where you are sitting angalia unaketi na nani na mahali unasimama angalia umesimama na nani that is how we work out our salvation we give fear and the trembling na tuombe Mungu katika Titus kuna neno Biblia tuombe neema 
Wewe sema sitafanya dhambi bila kupewa neema na Yesu Kristo. It is the grace of God that will come in your heart. Ikupatie mambo ya neema, neema inapatianga mtu mafunuo, inakufungua macho ya ndani. Unaanza kuona mambo yale unafanya hayafai. It is grace ndio itakuonyesha mipango ya kando ianze kukuonyesha hizo ni mambo ya uongo. Hiyo ni sare za munda. Precious of this world ambazo ni samunda sinapita na sina cost. Maana hivi amale na ni mipango ya kando utatumia pesa zako kule ukitukanana utapigwa siku nyingine. Yaani we engage in morality. Sasa hiyo kushikwa na ugonjwa hata ukimu and it is you die before time. Hata bila kutimiza makusudi ya Bwana yale Mungu alikuita Titus chapter 2 verse 11 inasema for the grace of God that brings salvation as appeared to all men it teaches us to say no to all ungodliness and worldly passions and to live a self-controlled life upright and godly lives in the present age neema ya Bwana itufundishaye kusema hapana kwa dhambi imefunuliwa duniani inafundisha kila mtu kusema hapana kwa dhambi na kuishi maisha ya utaua for the grace of god that brings salvation has appeared to all men it teaches us to say no to all ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self controlled upright and godly lives in the present age while we wait for the blessed hope the glorious appearing of our great god and savior jesus christ tunapomngojea niombe mungu atupe hiyo neema ya kusema hapana Sijui ni nini Paulo alikuwa anasema ya kwamba mambo yale alikuwa anaona ni ya maana sasa anaona ni takataka it is only grace that will come in your heart mambo yale ulikuwa unaona sin is very sweet dhambi ni tamu sana hata bibi inasema dhambi ya sharati kiongea kwa proverbs inasema maji ya wisi ni tamu kuliko ile ya kawaida na maji ni maji there is no sweetness in water it is tasteless na yote inafanana lakini mao shetani atakuonyesha maji ya wisi ndio bora maji ya wisi bibi anasema kunywa maji katika kichi, kizima hicho ulichimba mwenyewe hapo mke wako kaa na yeye usikunywe vizima mingi mingi hivyo ndio bibi anasema kwa hivyo shetani atakunanganya kuonyesha wakati neema inaingia ndio inakuonyesha anga that is rubbish neema ndio itaanza kukuonyesha mambo yale ulikuwa unaona kama ni ya maana pombe ni tamu masengenyo ni matamu unaweza sikia masengenyo ya watu usikie ra mpaka uanze kuwashwa moyo uanze kuwashwa moyo usikie huko comfortable kabla hujasema kaule vifrani kama zingine tu hiyo yote roa neema akiingia ndani yako utaanza kusema mambo haya nilikuwa naona ni ya maana lakini sasa naona ni buri kwa hivyo it is the grace of god that will teach us to say no ni neema itaingia ndani ya moyo uone kutukana na kufai uone masengenyo ya fai uone wivu wa ufai uone uchoyo wa ufai uone kiburi uone vitu vyote havifai uanze kumuona yesu Ukimuona Yesu wapendwa you live a holy life. Ukinua macho umuone Yesu na ujue wewe duniani hapa ni mgeni. Once Biblia inasema Colossians 3 chapter 1 inasema since then you have been raised with Jesus Christ. Set your hearts on the things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on the things above not on the earthly things for you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ with your life appears then also you will appear with him in glory put to death therefore whatever belongs to your earthly nature sexual immorality impurity lust evil desire greed which is idolatry because of these things the love of god is coming you used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived but now you must rid yourself of all such things as this anger rage malice slander and filthy language from your, your from your lips do not lie to each another since you have been taken off your old self with its practice sasa soma yote inasema kuanzia siku ya leo neema ikikuingia mambo yale utakuwa unakuwa unaona ya maana hayo yote tumeambiwa kiburi ya sira basi hivyo desire is great uchoyo hiyo chakula unanyimana hiyo ni ni cho fundi maana yake inaenda wapi hata kama ni mayai zaidi unanyimana maana yananukia vizuri na maini hata after yakiingia kwa tumbo yakitoka hata wewe utaki kuyaona why should you be greedy eh, eh, uchoyo naongea about uchoyo kile ni tamaa mbaya amen all these things come from a man and the defile him kwa hivyo ninatuambia aje nikianza pale nilianza work out your salvation with fear and trembling 
knowing that it is Christ who is working in you to will and to do for his own pressure. We are not encouraged to live in sin, even Romans 6 in a sema. J, tuishi kwa dhambi diyo naema yongeseke, hapana. Atukere suwa kukufa ndiyo tuishi kwa dhambi. Aliishi ndiyo tuishi maisha mazuri, maisha ya kupendekeza. Maana kama tunambiwa tumekombolewa, uwe sikuwa kameti. Arabu sasa uja utolewe kameti, mzeme mete na mimi ni mfungwa. No, you are not a mfungwa. You are a free man. However, if Jesus came to save us and to set us free, we must be free indeed. Paka tuombe yu neema. Paka tuitishe roo mtakatifu. Tumambia kriso ingie daani, mambo ya uivu, kiburi, uchoyo, hizo vitu wa una nguvu. Call upon Jesus Christ, you do the work of insight. Na wewe, once kuonyesha your desire, you pray for the Holy Spirit, you ask for deliverance, kama vile Jeremia nasema, and deliver me, Lord, I will be healed. Save me. Ni okwe buwana. Once kulia, na kuonyesha you are not comfortable in that situation. And Jesus will send your blessing in your heart. Answer kuomba. Kira asubui kama vile tumesoma hapa katika ruka kumina moja. Ya kuomba. Buwana, usikuongose katika majalibu. Do not lead us in the temptation. Lead us away from evil. Tuokwe na maobu yote. Every morning, decide to pray that prayer. Have a time of meditation. Listen to the Holy Spirit every morning. Amani. Ayo mambo ya kitamai kiwa nyingi. Roa atakuja kusaindie. Na utakuwa mkumu kamilivu. Naro atakushuka na aniyako. Na tutaansa kuwana miujisa kama wakati wa mitume. Utaansa. Yesu ajashindo kufufua watu. Anaweza kufufua watu. Ata sahi. Ajashindo kuponya viwete na vipogu. Ni mutu ambaye anaweza tumia ndia na kosa. Maana tumekua watoto. Unaweza okoka na kama ule mwe mwizi tu. Mwizi hali okoka na hakaenda mbinguni yako. Kamia Yesu chochote ya kambio. Today will be with me in paradise. Na halikuwa na sike njiri na uviriwa lakini ya kutamani, halipo ona mefungi wa mefungi ya litamani. Kwa unawezaenda mikuli kwa kuomba kusama, we know that. But you cannot serve Christ without being complete. Na Christ ndi hata kufanya complete, so that you will be a good minister, ambaye utapewa taji mbinguni. Asanteni. Baba katika njina la Yesu, na kusha kurugwana. Asanti maana wakobu inatoka kwako. Wewe ndi unafanya kasi dani mbeo yetu. Ukikata kufanyisho kasi dani mbeo yetu, Unaishi kama mafalisayo. Unakuwa wazuri katika mdomo na inje, lakini ndani tunakaa wabaya. Diyo nana ninurako siku ya leo, nana ninurako inasema ya kwamba, katika wa Filipi mbili, musali wa kumina mbili, we work out our salvation with the fear and the tempering, knowing that it is Christ who is working in us. We will have to do for his own purpose. Kwa hivyo wakogu, mkiswa ingie ndani ya fanyi ndani kasi, na sisi tubizai, tubizai roo mtakatifu na tutamani kuokolewa, diyo kwa na kasi ya wakogu itakamu. Kwa kia sifa na mkukufu maana roho mtakatifu, wewe ndiye mwalimu. Mimi si mwalimu, ya shima sote si kumudie mparmi. Na nikatika jina la Yesu, kumewa na kwa. Amin. Kwa kia sana.